Hi, I'm Manny Glover, graduating master's student in the School of Economics at Georgia Tech. I'm here to talk to you about studying economics at Georgia Tech, why it's an interesting subject, a good career choice, and how we offer a great degree here. Now, economics is sometimes seen as the dismal science. Bueller? Bueller? But economics is all over the news. But let me ask you first an economics question. Investors cheered by the coordinated action of central banks, which had cut interest rates worldwide. Is the most sweeping economic recovery package in our history. How many other academic subjects can compete with that? Next up at 11, Stephen Hawking's string theory and what it means for your family. See, economics is a science that matters. As my high school economics teacher would say, when the economy suffers, people suffer. The depression. The shutdowns had started when the Wall Street bonanza stopped and the well-off folks stopped spending. Plants and payrolls had been financed by selling stock. Now that was over. The confidence was gone. Whereas political pundits tend to sensationalize do you know anybody, I mean anybody who's out there saying, oh gee, my business is expanding like crazy. Do you know anybody say, I can't keep up with all the job offers. I mean, it's crazy. And one, you lie, into his first official State of the Union address. Economists rationalize. Using rigorous logical arguments and statistical tools to test theories, we take a more analytical approach to issues. From the fundamental concept of the trade-off a nation faces between spending resources on consumption or defense, as illustrated in the old guns and butter argument, to the mathematically advanced treatment at the graduate level, the logic is always sharp, but the findings apply to society at large. Explaining the business cycle, the ups and downs of the economy, is very relevant to us today. But there's much more to economics than simply explaining the patterns of employment or government finance. Take courses in health economics, environmental economics, or development economics, where one studies the special issues faced by the poorest nations of the globe. But public sector opportunities don't define what you can do with an economics degree. In fact, there are probably even more private sector opportunities than public sector. Perhaps the fast-paced life of Wall Street appeals to you. These career options sound kind of exotic. Working in Washington, D.C., on economic issues important to the national agenda, or in New York City trading stocks. But economics is a truly practical degree. All large businesses need economists to judge how the grander economy is going to affect their sales. In fact, I did an internship at one of the largest companies in the world doing economic forecasting. And businesses of any size desire the analytical skills learned while studying economics from the statistical analysis you do in econometrics to the business principles you learn in microeconomics. The pay is not bad either. In fact, the median salary for someone with a bachelor's degree in economics is $50,000, and the median salary for someone in their mid-career is $98,000. We have a great program here at the School of Economics at Georgia Tech, a high-quality student body with two Fulbright scholarship winners over the last year as well as recipients of other scholastic awards, our graduates go on to great companies like Bain & Company Consulting, Accenture Consulting, international giants like Coca-Cola and UPS. We also go on to do further study at great schools like MIT or Harvard. We also offer our own PhD program here as well as a terminal master's degree, which is great for a professional career. Not to mention our world-class professors who really care about you and who have PhDs from top tier schools and diverse backgrounds. They study health economics, 
international economics, environmental economics, game theory, finance, you name it, we've got it. For these reasons and more, I suggest you check out the School of Economics at www.econ.gatech.edu. That's www.econ.gatech.edu. All right, thanks for your time.